Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin and I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some new needles that I've just recently discovered and given them a try and let you know what I think about them. But before we start, um, I have the window open because it's really hot in here today. My office gets really hot when it's sunny outside. So if you can hear birds chirping, uh, that's because my window is open. Hopefully we won't have any other noise, but it's too hot to be in this room without the window open at the moment uh, also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and please leave a comment and let me know what you think about today's topic um welcome to today's video whether you are a new viewer or a returning viewer i really appreciate your time and thank you very much for joining me last year i did a series of videos on um uh, different needle brands, uh, the ones that I um, use the most. I also did a video on circular needles because I used exclusively circular needles. Um, I don't think I've used straight needles for quite a few years now. I don't even use double pointed needles anymore. Everything I knit is done on circular needles. So I did a video last year on circular needles and why I like them and also different ways of using circular needles um, depending on what you're knitting. So I'll link to that below. I also did a series of reviews on different needle brands. So I reviewed my favorite brand, which is Chow Gu, which are the needles I use the most. I also reviewed Licker, which is a needle brand I discovered more recently and which I really, really like. I reviewed their wooden needles. And I also did a review on Nipro because Nipro is a really popular brand. Uh, I think they're called Knitter's Pride in the US. They are a good all round brand they do loads of different materials uh, of their needles. Some of them are fairly cheap. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, but it's a really good all round brand. Um, and they're cheaper needles, I think, are a good kind of affordable needle brand. Um, so I reviewed some of their needles as well. So I'll link to all these videos below. Now, a few months ago, somebody contacted me about um, a brand called Prim. So P-R-Y-M. Um, I think they do different types of needles, but somebody specifically asked me about these ergonomic needles. Now I'd heard about these needles and I'd seen them in YouTube videos and things before, but I'd never come across them. I hadn't seen them in any of the shops where I teach, any of the shows that I attend. Um, I, I teach a lot of workshops. I have a lot of knitters bring their own needles to my workshop and nobody had these needles. So I was quite intrigued and as somebody asked me if I could review them, I thought, well, I'll order a pair and see what they like. So this next video is kind of my first impressions of uh, what happened when I, I arrived, when the needles arrived, where I got them from. Um, so I'll just let you watch that for a second and then I'll come back and tell you more. So last week I was asked if I'd ever tried the Prim ergonomic needles and I hadn't. I've um, heard about them. I've seen, I haven't seen them in person, I don't think. Um, I'm just trying to think. I can't remember whether anyone's ever had them in my workshops or not. I can't remember. But I've seen them on YouTube videos and um, they've been on my list of things to try for a while, but I've not seen them when I've been teaching out and about or been to yarn shows. Not that I've been to very many yarn shows in the last two years. So when somebody asked me, I thought, well, let's see if I can get hold of a set and see what they're like. So I did a Google search uh, before the weekend and um, not an awful lot of options came up in the UK. Um, I only looked on the first page of Google search, to be honest. Um, but this one website came up and it's woolzone.co.uk. I'm assuming it is a an actual yarn shop. Um, it's based in Oakham, Rutland, which has a Leicestershire postcode, I think. Um, but I'll put the website below. Um, I found the, um, the needles there. I wanted to get some four millimeter needles, preferably 80 centimeter long cable because that's what I use the most. So I thought that would make sense to get those. Um, and I couldn't find, the website was sold out of four millimeter, both 60 centimeter long and 80 centimeter long. So I actually ordered four and a half millimeter, I think. And then within minutes of placing the order, my phone rang. So I picked it up. I don't normally pick up unknown phone calls, but I picked it up and um, it was the um, lady from Woolzone who rang me and said, I'm really sorry, but 
the four and a half millimeter needles i've actually sold out of those would another size do so i said well i actually want the four millimeter needles but we didn't have those i'm just buying them to try them out to see what they're like so she said well actually i do have four millimeter 80 centimeter long cables so i said okay i'll take those so those that's what she sent me um and they arrived while i was away over the weekend so when i came home last night um they were here it's monday morning now so i didn't actually i opened the packaging last night but i didn't take them out of this packaging because i thought i would do that on camera so you can see what i think the um what i think of them so um i'm just looking at the back but it says anything about them not a lot i have had a quick look online um i will look again and do like a film um tell you what it says on the website about these types of needles but i can't remember it all now um because it's monday morning and i'm just about to start work <coughs> these are ergonomic needles they have steel cables but they are very very light um they have purple cables which obviously i like and purple on the needle and it says prim four millimeter uh, no it says prim 4.0 um i'm assuming i don't know what make when prim is made but um oh, made in germany so i'm assuming it's a german company which is why it doesn't have four millimeter on it, it just has 4.0 um so if you're not if your knitting needles are not done in millimeter like the u.s sizes or whatever that you need to be a bit careful um most needles these days that are millimeter do say millimeter on them and these don't they are the one thing i was very worried about before i got these and why i thought maybe i won't like them is because the tip is really weird well you can see it it's got like a sort of bulb almost i think they're called hook tips so that'll be interesting the cables are really straight i think they're kind of similar to the chow goo cables in that they don't kink but they are thinner more flexible i would say than the chagu cables um i think they're steel cables um yes no spiraling effect steel cord no spiraling effect no tangling so that'll be interesting so that's one of the things that people complain the most about circular needles is how the cables can get really kinky and you don't get that with chagu so it'll be interesting um if you look doesn't look like you get that with these either they're very light i am a little bit unsure about those tips because then they are pointy but they got like a weird almost like a bulb on the end of them so that'll be interesting to see how they work i want to just film this so you can see me opening them and see my kind of initial reaction to them <laughs> a little bit from the website kind of like the official blurb about what makes these needles special and then i'll tell you my opinion about them i have been using them probably got them in like february and march it is end of may today so 31st of may so i've used them for a while i obviously haven't used them all the time i, I bought four millimeter needles because they're probably the ones i use the most and i've used them for various things on and off probably mostly for swatching because that means i could use them more frequently for different things so i've used them for lace knitting um, knit and pearl garter stitch and brioche knitting so i've used them quite a bit uh, and i do quite like them um and i'll let you know exactly what i think in a minute but first i'll just tell you uh what kind of is on their website but what makes them so special so 
they call ergonomic needles and um, quite often when you see things being called ergonomic you think well what makes it ergonomic um, so I'll just read what is said on their website so these needles have these funny hook tips which I don't know whether you can see that easily um, the normal anything needle kind of comes to a point like that but these have kind of these hook or bulb almost um, needle tips which I wasn't too sure about to start with I was worried that it would make them too blunt and not good enough for things like brioche decreases and lace knitting but actually they feel quite pointy when you knit them they're like point knitting with pointy needles even though they're not pointy which is quite strange but on their website it says uh, what makes ergonomic needles so special hook tips small drop shaped ends of the needles help to guide the yarn safely and smoothly the entire uh, this entirely new needle point design is especially welcome for beginners because it will help them to avoid dropping stitches i must admit i'm not quite sure how that will help um my daughter wants me to teach her to knit again so i might get her to try this and see what but it helps her to not drop stitches anyway back to what it says on their website heavy users which i assume means more experienced knitters will also love them because even complex knitting patterns are easier to follow thanks to the needle's precision yarn control again i'm not sure about how they how they make patterns easier to follow but that's what they say the ergonomic knitting needles are made of high performance synthetic material that's especially light and flexible a nice side effect is that the needles are quieter during use which means no more clicking or irritating noises uh, for the circular needles specifically the tangle free steel cord of the circular knitting needles brings an end to the annoying spiral effect nothing will ever twist or need to be painstakingly set right again so that's what their website says so let's have a look at them so i always store my needles twisted up like that so I, when I do that, I'll show you how I do it because I always get asked this. So to store my needles and stop them from like spinning out of control, I hold one needle tip, then I loop the cable around. Depending on how long it is, I loop it around again. So if it's a longer cable, I might loop it around three, four times, three, once or twice, depending on the length. These are 80 centimeter, by the way, I think. Then I take one needle tip and I thread it through the middle of the needle then I go around and through the middle the same way again so I go through the middle and then around and through the middle the same way again that means that they stay like this and they're a bit easier to store so let me take them out again so these have been stored like that and when I take them out you can see the cable is completely relaxed there's no kinkiness so these are similar cables to what Chowgu uses from what I can tell um, they certainly feel very similar to Chow Gu. The thing I prefer about these over the Chow Gu cables is the fact that these are much thinner. I also like the fact that they're purple, but that's not really relevant to the knitting performance. But the Chow Gu cables are quite a lot thicker. Now, I don't actually have a Chow Gu cable here, uh, so I can't compare it, but the Chow Gu cables are quite a bit thicker. These are quite thin and I do like that. The needles are incredibly light. Um, they feel almost weightless when you're knitting with them. Um, they are quite clearly marked with the needle size. Uh, so it says prim and then 4.0. So that's four millimeter. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I think prim might be a German company, but I'm not sure. But I think they're definitely European maybe might be wrong um i'm not sure if you buy them in the states whether they come with american sizes or whether they just have millimeter sizes but other needles um if they have the needle size on them they tend to say millimeter so it might say four millimeter whereas these just say, say 4.0 um so what i would say is if you don't knit a millimeter if you're in the us or you use needle sizes uh, sized in US sizes you need to be a bit careful because it doesn't say US 4 or 4 millimeter so the Chow Goose for example I think say US 4 and then slash 4 millimeter 4 millimeter is not US 4 I think 4 millimeter is US 6 maybe um, 
these don't actually say that so just be careful to make sure you're choosing the right needle size um if you knit a millimeter and you buy these a millimeter obviously that's not a problem but if you use american sizes you need to be aware of that um so that's the only kind of from a sizing point of view that might be a problem the needle tips are quite fairly long so some needle brands let you choose between two different needle size tips length so some brands let you choose between a different length of tips i think chagu for example do two different needle tip lengths at least for their interchangeable set these just come in one set let's got my tape measure let's see how long these needle tips are so the needle tips are 13 centimeters which is about five inches which is actually when i buy chagu needle tips for the interchangeable set because they do a choice between i think it's four and five inch tips and i always buy the five inch tips because i've got quite big hands and i like needle tips that are slightly longer than the width of my hand when i hold them like that because that's how i hold them to knit um so as i said i've knitted quite a few things with these i've knitted uh lace stocking stitch knit and pearl garter stitch and recently I've been uh, knitting quite a lot of brioche. Now brioche decreases especially can be a little bit tricky if you have needles that are not very pointy. And I was interested to see how these uh, stood up to the brioche decreases and they actually work really well. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I do quite like them for the way they work with the brioche decreases. So I have no complaints about these. I do like them. Now, will I throw away my Chagu set and buy loads of these? Probably not. Um, I, If I come across them, I might buy some more. Um, I don't know if they do an interchangeable set or not. I haven't seen them. It's not that easy to get hold of these in the UK. Now, I don't know whether that's because they're a mainland European brand and maybe they're more common in other European countries. I do go to quite a few yarn shops in Norway when we go to Norway and I don't think I've ever seen them in yarn shops in Norway either but let me know where you live if you've ever seen these in your local yarn shops um, I really like them and if I come across them I might buy more but I'm not going to rush out and buy more just for the sake of it because I have loads of needles so I don't really need any more but if you are investing in a, a new set of, inter, uh, of circular needles you might want to consider these especially if you get pain in your hands um i don't get any hand pain despite the fact that i knit a lot so i don't know whether these help reduce hand pain at all um i would also say they're using circular needles of so a straight needle may reduce hand pain and um also knitting with um continental style rather than english style may also help reduce um pen your hands and wrists because your movements are smaller so i can't say whether from an ergonomic point of view these actually make a difference because i can't tell the difference so i do knit quite a lot on an average day i knit um probably about half an hour to an hour in the morning um a couple of, an hour at lunch time out half an hour mid morning couple hours in the afternoon and then I basically knit all evening so I do knit quite a lot every day but I don't have any problems with my hands hopefully I won't develop any problems with my hands either so from the ergonomic point of view I don't I can't really judge these or uh, give my view on these over the needle brands I normally use because I don't know but I do really like them um, very very light um, I will be going on a holiday soon. I'll be going on a flight. So I take my cha metal chagu needles on flights with me. But I might consider taking these next time because I think the project I'm taking, I need four millimeter needles, which these are. So I might take these because I think they're less likely to break than my wooden licking needles. I'm a little bit cautious about packing wooden needles in my luggage in case I pack too much and accidentally break them because I've done that before. Uh, so these might be an alternative because there is always the risk when you take metal needles that they might decide to decide to confiscate them. Although in the UK they are actually on the list of things you're allowed to take on a plane with you, and I've never had any problems. So, um, but yeah, I really like them.
guys so i hope you tried these needles before um are you interested in trying them are you intrigued by them like i was um i still quite don't understand how these tips these kind of hook tips work as well as they do i'm kind of fascinated by them but i really like them and i will continue to use them uh, and i may buy the old extra set in some of the other sizes i use a lot um let me know if you've tried them and what you thought of them um and especially if you get any hand pains or tiredness in your hands when you knit a lot do these make a difference um because i can't give my opinion on that because i don't have a problem with it so let me know what you think of these and um leave me a comment and tell me whether you've tried them or uh, whether they're easily available where you live thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing if you like this video give it a thumbs up and as i said please leave a comment and let me know if you are have tried these needles or if you're interested in trying them i will leave the link below to my circular needle video and the other re needle review videos i have done i will also over the next few months do a needle review on the higher higher needles because I do have a few higher higher needles and I do have opinions about them so that will be coming up as well and if you've got anything else you would like me to review or you'd like my opinion on leave me a comment and I will consider it I did this video because somebody watched and apologies I can't remember who it was it, it is a few months ago but somebody left me a comment saying had I tried this and could I do a review on them so I got them and I've done a review on them now I didn't actually buy these I didn't get them for free I prefer to buy stuff I'm reviewing so I can give you an honest opinion without feeling obliged to be positive. So um, I do like these. Uh, Price-wise, I can't remember how much they were. I think they're probably mid-range price, not too expensive, but not super cheap either. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.